Hi scholars, this is uh, Robert Miller here with 100 Day Doctoral Thesis uh, giving you just some tips and some opportunities and some uh, techniques, some strategies about how to complete your doctoral thesis, your primary draft of your doctoral thesis in a fast focused way so you can finish as the three F's that I'm working with here now. Fast, focused and finish your doctoral thesis in 100 days and so that you can get it done and move on then to the process of the rewrites in your oral, oral exams and things uh, that you need to do to complete your degree. Uh, the idea is to do this in a hundred days. In my particular case I'm in day seven and I've written seven pages. I, my goal is to write a hundred pages in a hundred days minimum. So that's what I want to talk about here today about how you can contract and use your time well and in such a way that it can make some sense and it can uh, get it done in, a, in an effective effective manner. So let's talk a little bit about habits. I uh, read a book here recently that's been very helpful to me in this process. It's called The Power of Habits and the author's name is Charles Duhigg, D-U-H-I-G-G -G is his name. And uh, there's a few tips in there that has been helpful to me in the process of uh, of breaking some old habits, developing some new habits to help things get done in an effective uh, manner. He talks in the in the book about a process where we develop habits, and it's really a three-part process. It is the cue, which is that thing, that impetus, that incentive that drives us on. So the cue, the second part is the routine, is the actual task at hand, and the last part is the reward. The reward is what is the payoff to whatever our habit is. So let's just say that um, our, our habit that we have is a good habit of, of running a mile every day. Of, uh, and your cue that you may have for that is to set out your running shoes by your bed the night before. So the first thing you do when you wake up, there's your shoes right there. That's your cue. Then your routine is to actually do the run. And your reward is that sense of uh, the endomorphins and all the good things that pay off, the feeling good that happens that happens from, from that. And then your reward might be, you know, a, uh, a, uh, a cup of coffee or a glass of water at the end of it as well. So all of our life revolves in many ways around cues. Some of them healthy and great, like running a mile, and some of them not so good. That often lead to wasting time and being ineffective and disrupting the patterns so that we need to do. In order to accomplish a major task, like writing a doctoral thesis, many times we have to break old patterns and start some new ones in order to contract time and make use time better, use it well, in order to get things done. So let's just think about it. What are some things that you can do that can maybe change patterns where perhaps you wasted time or perhaps that you uh, didn't use time as effectively or maybe you didn't use your studies time as well or writing time. I'm going to give you just a few things of ways that you might do this because what, what uh, some tips here because what uh, Duhigg says, Duhigg says in his book is that we need to define clearly the cue so in our case, writing a doctoral thesis, the cue very likely might be the uh, uh, starting the program, or it might be having a book in front of us. That's re re or perhaps the program uh, uh, description or program book that you may have to describe the the program. That may be your cue. So put that out somewhere. You see that cue, uh, and the reward is. You need to clearly define that, make an emotional hook into that, is perhaps walking across the stage at your university, and the reward uh, could also be connected to other things regarding your academic achievements and things in your family, financial gain, uh, opportunities for advancement in your career, whatever it would be, connect those em things emotionally. So on the front end, your cue has an emotional charge and your reward has an emotional hook but in the middle of the routine is getting the task done. We're in that routine area and that is where Duhigg says that we 
uh, oftentimes get bogged down in that which is uh, not so good in some cases if it's a bad habit and then we could change those. What we have to change is the routine and define clearly the the cue and visualize and to make it powerful the reward. Change the routine. So if it is a part of your routine to uh, let things go, part of your routine to somehow to not work on the project like you possibly should, don't get dissolved into guilt or anything like that. The resolve to change the routine. Now here's a few things I'm working on and maybe you can work on these too to change your routine. One of those things that I've been using recently, it's a simple thing and you probably got one. I use my iPhone and the timer feature on this. You, you can see the, the timer feature is going right now. I've got about four minutes left that I want to complete this uh, YouTube video in this that amount of time or less. And use this timer and set it for the various tasks that you have. If you don't have it on a phone, just use a regular watch or something. Set a timer. Set an alarm. And to use it effectively to change the pattern where you might consume a lot of time to do something that you can set a timer and then move on. I'll give you a great example of this is email. I've been one of those people guilty, and I bet you have too, of spending a lot of time, unnecessary time on email. What I'm doing right now, and doing a pretty good job of it, is setting my timer and doing email in 30 minutes or less once in the morning and sometimes later on in, in, in the day. Not getting bogged down for long periods of time. An email, just taking care of it. Be surprised what you can get done if you focused, think fast, and think I got to get this thing finished. Focused, fast, finish. Here's some other things that you you, you can do. Um, make sure that you eat well. Make sure you sleep well. Um, make sure that you turn off that TV. Break a pattern of watching television. You can gain four to eight hours a day. Many of us can't. We just turn off the dag on TV and get some work done. I use also some um, uh, visual cues around my office area and things that I do. I have a mortar board from my college graduation. This is a reminder of what it felt like to walk across the stage uh, when I graduated for, from my undergraduate program. I have uh, another cues on my wall from my master's degree, uh, my degree there. Also, use other cues. Change your location of your work. If you're used to working in one location in a home office where I'm talking to you now, maybe you need to go to another office. I use my church office for the majority of my academic work, for instance. Maybe it's a library or another place. Change locations. Change the routine in order to uh, get, make yourself uh, uh, be more progressive and get stuff done to, uh, to be productive. So that's what I want to share with you today. So my question today is, how are you doing? And what are some things that you can do to change your routine? What can you do to define clearly your cues? What are some things that you can do to lift up the emotional charge of the payoff, the reward, make it clear, clarity on both ends? And in the middle, what are some things that you can do to change the routine to help you accomplish the goal of your doctoral thesis in 100 days fast with focus? and to finish it. So that's our thought for today. I'll be back with you in a few days. Uh, right now, I'll just share with you, seven days in, I've got seven pages. I'm on track for my goal. Where are you at on yours? Let's keep this thing moving. Keep it going. Uh, until the next time, this is Robert Miller with 100 Day uh, Thesis. Uh, please, I uh, welcome your comments, your emails. Uh, anything we can be in conversation about, that would be great. You put them down below or send me an email. It's below as well. But until next time, I'm just Robert Miller saying be well, do good, and have a great life.